So what uh, of all the uh, many pieces you uh, wrote in 2020, what, what piece jumps out at you as the one that got the biggest reaction that you weren't necessarily expecting? Like maybe you thought, you know, it was of course an important piece to write because you're writing it, but um, you we maybe weren't expecting so much feedback, whether good or bad. Yeah, um, the 450 North story that I wrote about, um, I had seen so much kind of like chatter about their um, first it was uh, exploding cans and then it was mislabeled ABVs, and I thought that was kind of like still within a very like beer geek niche kind of world that once I wrote about it and it went like gangbusters it it really surprised me because I thought I was talking to like a pretty small group of drinkers and especially because 450 North like they're only geographically distributed in like a very small area I don't know but that story went nuts and like continued to over the course of months so um slushy exploding possibly not properly ABV labeled uh beer was something people were very interested in reading about. Do you, do you think it's because yeah. that, <laughs> do, do you think it's because that uh, underworld of craft beer isn't used to getting such like such a credible source kind of documenting mm. a story like that and that stuff often lives in like Facebook message boards and it's never been given a platform like that so maybe that helped. I, I'm guessing you probably got a lot of new viewers uh, to the site like, because that was on Good Morning, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That was on Good Beer Hunting. Yeah, so that was a, yeah, that's, I think that's a very good, um, I think that's a very good hypothesis as to why that was popular. I mean, it took me a while to get someone from 450 North, like, on the phone, on the record, so that, too, like, you don't, sometimes in cases like that, you hear a lot of, like, rumors and a lot of supposition, you don't really actually get a comment, like, from the brewery itself, so maybe that was appealing, and then I think, too, it's just one of those stories that, like, everyone has an opinion about, one way or the other, like no one just read it and seemed to think, huh, and like move on. Like everyone like read it and was either fired up on some side, like, oh, this is unfair to 450 North or boo 450 North, I don't know. Everyone had some like take on it. So I think that was part of it too. It was like a very emotionally resident story. So I did not, I did not expect any of that, um, but that was cool to see. <laughs> 